Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The United States Army Military District of Washington, under the command of Major General Michael L. Howard, is proud to present the United States Army Old Guard, Fife, and Drum Corps. The 3rd United States Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, traces its lineage back to George Washington's original Continental Army, and today serves as the Army's official escort to the President of the United States. In 1960, the Fife and Drum Corps was organized to participate in official ceremonies and to revive our country's musical heritage. From the days of the American Revolution through the 19th century, fifes, drums, and bugles were vital to military order and discipline. Field musicians were used to issue commands during battle and to regulate the duty day, signaling when to rise, when to eat, and when the day ends. This afternoon's show paints a series of pictures from the life of a Continental soldier musician. We open at the beginning of the duty day with a training scene. In the 18th century, signals like attention and breakfast call would have sent the soldiers into action. Here we begin with those signals and accompany their daily training with marching tunes, including drums and guns and simple Joshua. The soldiers of the United States Army, Old Guard, Fife, and Drum Corps wear uniforms patterned after those of General Washington's Continental Army. In order to be easily identified, military musicians wore the reverse colors of the regiment to which they were assigned. At that time, American infantry soldiers wore blue coats with red facings. Thus, the musicians wore red coats with blue facings. Traditionally, the most skilled drummer was given the title of drum major and was chosen to lead the musicians. Today, the drum major who stands before you wears the light infantry cap and issues silent commands using the espontoon, an adapted 18th century weapon. At the end of the day, troops would often gather around the campfire to relax, and the musicians would provide entertainment. Picture yourselves in such a setting now, as we feature the fife and bugle groups in a scene reminiscent of the soldier's respite following a challenging day.
At a moment's notice, the soldier is summoned from camp, finding himself marching resolutely to the battlefield. As tensions mount, the musicians relay the commander's orders to the troops. Firing commences, and the chaos builds to a fierce percussive climax. We will now feature the United States Army Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps drumline in a battle feature. Remembering the fallen soldiers lost in battle, we open our final scene with the mournful tune, Roslyn Castle. The lament is brief, though, as we transition to a celebration of life and close our show with the triumphal Soldier's Return, during which the Corps will honor you with the stately and traditional troop step.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the United States Army, Old Guard, Fife, and Drum Corps. On behalf of the Old Guard Commander, Colonel James J. Tewitt, and the Fife and Drum Corps Commander, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Aaron P. Graff, it has been our pleasure performing for you today.